Hey everybody, Kerry here, and we are at the Salt Lake Goodwill Outlet, aka the bins. This is the place you've heard about where you can buy items by the pound. All this clothing, there is so much clothing, is $1.89 a pound, and the DVDs and CDs are 49 cents a piece. So we're gonna see what kind of clothing we can find, what kind of cool media we can find to flip online. We already found a Yellowstone hoodie. I like finding national park stuff, it is awesome. So we're gonna put that up probably for 10 or $15. Plus there's a TV show called Yellowstone that's doing pretty well right now. I like looking for NBA and NCAA college items. I found a couple pairs of basketball shorts. The first one was nothing. This one is Nike reversible Kansas State Wildcats. I love the reversible stuff. This is like mid early 2000s. It's not in perfect shape, but the price is right. We're at the bins. This will probably cost me 40 or 50 cents. I'm gonna ask 10 to $20 on it plus shipping. If you're new to the bins, it's a little bit overwhelming. There is so much stuff. A couple tips that I will give you first is I like to keep moving. Um, I like to go to a section, quickly look through it, and then move around. People are constantly um, finding stuff from the bottom, pulling it up to the top, and oftentimes finding good stuff that they just don't want. Maybe they're buying for themselves and it doesn't fit. So if I'm moving, I can see all the fresh stuff that people just put up top, and then I can dig again after I find that stuff. But I can't tell you how many times I found some stuff that people freshly dug up that just decided, you know, they decided they didn't want it. I have to say I like the media section here in Salt Lake more than I like the one in Las Vegas. Now, a lot of you have seen my Las Vegas videos. Unfortunately, they no longer let me film inside, but they don't mind here in Salt Lake. So you're gonna see several Salt Lake videos inside and continue to see my regular uh, Vegas ones where I'm outside talking about what I find. I definitely prefer these kind of videos. I'm sure most of you do as well. Let me know, do you prefer the inside or outside ones? At 49 cents, I'm gonna pull out a lot of stuff and here shortly, we're gonna see my best find of the day. I didn't even realize how good it was until I pulled it out. This is Hell's Kitchen season one through 10 on DVD. Of course, you need to remember this. Look through everything, make sure all the discs are there. They were all there. This is going roughly between 80 and 100 plus dollars used. Knew it goes for even more. So this is a stellar find. Definitely one of the better finds of my Salt Lake Bins trip, and I was stoked to find it. You know how it is when you find something big. You're inspired to, to dig and dig and dig. Sense and Sensibility, this is like one of those BBC ones. Just wasn't going to pick it up. It probably was worth a few bucks, but at 49 cents, um, you know, it's not worth enough unless I find a bunch of BBC, like, period dramas that I could basically lot it up with. So I'm going to continue to look, see if I can't find some more gold in here. I'm definitely... Uh, motivated and dedicated after finding this one. This is cool. I actually found season 12 to go along with one through 10. So I'm going to pick that up and lot it up with that 10 season pack that I got. Tron looked like some sort of special edition. Picked it up. Once again, not super, super valuable, but Disney, you know, I'm picking up cool, interesting kind of obscure DVDs, stuff that looks like special editions, 3D Blu-rays when I can find them. For the most part, I'm staying away from um, CDs. I am looking to double check on a few of them, but for the most part, I'm sticking to DVDs, and it's kind of hit and miss. This is brand new Page Master, classic Macaulay Culkin film. The Page Master I have on eBay for $4. Once again, not a big, big money item, but I bought it. The price was low, so it wasn't that much of a risk. I got this one for 49 cents, 3D Blu-ray. It sold already for $10 plus shipping on eBay. That may be one of my biggest tips as a reseller, period, is to buy as low as possible. When you buy low, even when things don't go right, uh, like I find out a, a DVD is only going to make me 3 or $4 plus shipping, I'm still making a profit. So even when it's not a good pick, you know, I'm still making a profit because I'm buying so low. And it also allows you to take a chance, you know, not spend all your time looking everything up because it's so, so low in price that you can just uh, take a chance on it and learn. So remember that. I mean, it seems fairly obvious, buy as low as possible. We're all trying to do that, but the bins is a place where you know you can go in and everything's $1.89 a pound or everything is going to be 49 cents in this case. This is a cool NFL Films DVD set. This one also is already sold. I sold it for $5 plus shipping. Not a big hitter, but a profitable item that's not that hard to ship out and can just go along with all the other daily shipments that I do on Whatnot and eBay. This next one would have been a lot better if it had all the discs. I didn't check on this one. 3D Blu-ray was missing the DVD, which wasn't that much. 
Um, somebody gave me an offer for three bucks and I just took it to move it. I probably could have got a little bit more money on it, honestly, but I just wanted to move it. It wasn't the best buy, but once again, it was a failure and I still made like a dollar fifty all said and done on it. So, you know, it wasn't a total failure. So I have been a reseller since early 2011 and one market that has totally changed totally completely is Blu-rays and DVDs and video games to some extent. But DVDs and Blu-rays were a big portion of what I made money on when I first got started. And, you know, the market is still um, a profitable one. It's just changed. You know, CD, uh, DVD sets, TV show sets used to be super valuable. Now they're hit and miss. This one I got right here, Time Travels uh, Star Trek. Um, I picked it up. Not that great. I thought it would be a little bit better, but I still picked it up. One thing about being a reseller is being adept to the changes that are constantly happening within various different markets. Things change. It doesn't mean that you can't make money in a certain market, but things change and it might not be what it once was. Most resellers who have been doing this for a long time have changed and have done several different categories. Not everyone, but a lot of them have. So stay tuned. This video is going to have me find a couple items, couple brands for the first time. Never found them before. Right here, if you can see that on the right side, is some Lulu Lemon. I have never found in the wild, I'm about to pick it up, any Lululemon. This symbol right here, you see this symbol, it's Lululemon, and especially when it's at the bins, it's going to be worth your time. As soon as I saw the Lululemon symbol, I was like, I'm going to buy this. This probably weighs, you know, next to nothing, so I'm going to pay 25, 30 cents, and I think I will do really well with that. We do get a lot of sports and pop culture items for our weekly whatnot auctions. Right here, Don found a Denver Broncos, just like a kid's little, you know, jersey, a simple jersey. This will go on our whatnot auction. Auction. Not going to be big money, but once again, I'm paying like 25 cents, 30 cents, somewhere around there. So I'm going to pick it up at that price. Next up, I found a Red Bull Rampage t-shirt, brand new with the tag. I've had the Red Bull hats before. Um, I'm going to, I usually don't put those on eBay. I believe there's a Vero issue with them, but I think the shirts, I don't know if the shirts are good or not. So I'm going to put them on Mercari or Poshmark just in case. But that stuff is a very, very popular. The brand Red Bull is very popular. Don is handing me a couple of shirts. First off is this Boise State shirt. Any sports stuff that, you know, has a good logo on it and that's pretty decent condition I'm going to pick up for the What Not Auction. And this next shirt is pretty awesome. It is, well, there's the Boise State one. The next shirt is a vintage, I'd imagine 1990s, early to mid-1990s. I think it's Cadre is the brand Minnesota Viking shirt. That's awesome. That's vintage. That's going to go on eBay. Unfortunately, it does have a little bit of damage from bleaching, it looks like, on the backside. I still think it's pretty sellable because, you know, on the front, it looks pretty good. I'm going to take a chance on it, and I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to put it on eBay and see how it does. So Rel is a brand definitely to look out for. I actually first really heard about it when I was doing an Instagram Live, and I passed some shoes or small boots, and somebody told me to get them, and they did end up selling. They were kind of expensive at that thrift store, but I still made a few dollars. These are Sorel boots. I was going to get them. I was thinking about it, super, super contemplative. I wanted to buy them, but they were just so dang dirty, and I wasn't 100% sure we could clean them up. So I decided to be safer. Those were also several pounds, so I decided the best idea was to just pass them up and not deal with them. Right now, we're waiting for the changing of the carts. Check this out, guys. It's going to get a little bit intense for a second. It's probably my favorite part of going to the bins. It's pretty exciting. If you can get to a bin first, there's a good chance you can find some really, really great stuff. The problem is, where do you choose? Do you go to, you know, video games and media stuff first? They don't have too many video games, but DVDs and media. Do you go to clothing? Which bin do you choose? I chose the one directly in front of me just because it was easiest. So let's see how I do on this run at the bins. I did have some good luck at this first bin. I found something Another brand that I have never found before, not super, super high end, but one I keep hearing about from other great bin pickers like Flip the World, TX, or Dixon Pickens. There's a lot of great bin flippers and bin people who do bin videos um, that are great. You definitely should give a follow. But it's coming up right here. It's a Nike brand, but it's not the typical everyday brand you see all the time. This is Nike Combat or Pro Combat. I've never found this. Pro Combat, I've heard is a bolo. It's kind of, you know, like a workout shirt or something like that. I think it's going to do really well for me. I think this is vital for every picker out there. Constantly be looking for new brands and new things 
you know, every year you're doing this. I've been doing this 11 years. First time I've ever found Nike Pro Combat. I haven't done a lot of clothing throughout the years, but I'm super excited that I found that. I'm going to celebrate that victory. Here's another sports little kids uh, Steelers hoodie. I'm going to pick that up for the Whatnot auction. Here's another shirt. I found another sports shirt that I'm going to get for the Whatnot auction. Houston Texans, not the most popular team in the world, but it's a good, solid, in good condition t-shirt that I think can do decent on my Whatnot auction. I'm always looking for stuff for eBay, for Whatnot, and also if I can find some vintage stuff here, you know, Etsy or other places like that. You guys go to the bins at all. If you guys don't, I encourage you to start going and checking it out. I'd say personally, it's worth a several hour trip to get there. The items are so cheap. You can fill up carts and carts and carts of solid bread and butter stuff. And almost every time we go, we find a $50, $100, $200 item. They're out there. They make it to the bins. They go through the Goodwills um, where they're typically overpriced for a long time. And then they just end up at the bins, you know, a lot of times with that overpriced price tag still on it. And you're picking it up for pennies on the dollar. I'm surprised how much I love the bins. It kind of reminds me of a good flea market where you can get a bunch of stuff, make a deal, and get it super cheap. I expected, you know, there to be probably in the winter here in Vegas a little bit more garage sales. There just hasn't been that many, especially in the last couple of weeks with holidays. But look forward to some more garage sale videos as soon as I can get out there. I'm hoping the second week of January will be when I see some more uh, garage sales out here in Vegas. Garage selling is another one of my favorite things to do. And I've been talking to Don about this lately. I want to start going to live auctions again. I think it'd be really fun to film if they'll let us. But I love live auctions. I did a live auction for years and years and years. That's where I met Don. She came to my auction. And we used to go to auctions all the time in Utah. They're fun. They're energetic. And you can oftentimes get some stellar deals there. So that's what we do. We hunt for stuff and we put it online. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.